At this point, is it really necessary to remind ourselves that pedals make bass guitars sound better? And also that perhaps one of the most important of them, and sometimes overlooked, is the compressor. What if this compressor was based on an all-time favorite and could also be used as a preamp and a booster? Wouldn't that catch your attention? <laughs> Welcome back to the Water Base. The Lucid Hand Alma Comp is based on the Diamond BCP1 optical bass compressor. However, when using it with a regular 9 or 12 volts DC power supply, the Alma can double the voltage internally up to 18 or 24 volts for more headroom and increased strength and character of the compressed sound. I say can because inside there's a switch that doubles the voltage. <laughs> The differences are small, but we can hear them. So for the sake of this video, we will run the pedal on 9 volts with the voltage doubling on. We're going to run another audio loop through the Alma, testing first the compressor, and then we'll mix in some clean signal. Because unlike the diamond compressor, this one has a clean knob that allows us to add in some clean signal. And by the way, you can also use this pedal as a super transparent booster. <laughs> The EQ knob either boosts lows or highs at a tilting point of 900 or 250 hertz. This means we can add body or presence to the sound. So great if you want to emphasize a warm vintage sound or a modern bright one. Thank mm -hmm. you. 
Compressors are also cool in front of drive pedals, especially optical ones because of that initial attack. And in this case, because the pork and pickle has a blend function, you can emphasize transients thanks to the Alma comp. So yeah, a richer sound with more harmonics. Compressors are also great in front of octaves and do influence their sound as we're going to find out with the octanoise. So is it really necessary to remind ourselves that pedals make bass guitars sound better? At least more fun and creative. So there you have it. This is not a transparent compressor like the Becker's Compic, for example. It adds a special character to the sound and helps with articulation and note definition, while keeping dynamics under control without being overly drastic. I see it as an effect rather than a tool, and it really helps to shape a tone and the attack that we miss when playing. So all in all, a lovely compressor that is difficult to turn off once it's on. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, please give it a like. Subscribe if you haven't already, and I'll see you in the next one. Bye-bye.